one knew the Meta Knight matchup, right. like post 2011. So now we got Crispy Tacos versus Godot. Who is uh, Godot? Godot is a Luigi player from Basque. Oh, he played in the crew battle. Did extremely well, actually. Oh, I think this is Basque's best player. He, uh, they had like a tournament in Santa Cruz. I believe he won it. Uh, uh, Crispy he, Tacos is doing a lot of great work yeah, right yeah. now. Uh, he's been sticking to Lucas pretty hardcore. Uh, he's become a really big mother fan, so I can see why. And oh, really? Lucas is still a very underrepresented character that has a lot of potential. Wow, I've, uh, I've never played mother or. Oh! Great work right. right there. Tacos. Covering a lot of options by perfectly spacing that. It does have hitboxes on the side that will pull you up into the main part of the hit. Some of that PK read. All right, those Nair combos are so good. Godot just really doesn't seem to know what to do here. Uh, that tether grab being very useful in this matchup specifically because it looks like every time Luigi gets pushed back on shield, Taco still has an opportunity for a grab. Right, right. Yeah, it can also just, I feel like also it's that uh, Godot just doesn't know the matchup. Again, this is how we're talking about, like matchups. It's, it's not just knowing about your, uh, he's probably just, he plays like a Yoshi, he plays right. Mario and whatnot, but you've got to know the Lucas matchup here. Like, you, have you to never know when somebody's going to come out of the woodwork with a character that is viable, that may have a good matchup against you, right. uh, or just, you know, isn't very popular. Oh, oh, wow! He, he actually, actually gets the gimp. Did he, he do that on purpose? No, I think he missed his body because... he No, they asked him. He did it on purpose. He did that on purpose. Nah, nah, I, I don't buy it. I don't Tacos buy it. Tacos is probably, yeah, he's probably just chalking like, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I totally did that, man. Don't <laughs> all, all planned. Tacos is way too juiced right now, dude. In his head, he's like, oh, good shit that worked. <laughs> he is straight up giddy at the fact that uh, he won that match so quickly. I mean, he's, he's done a very, very good job with Lucas. Yeah. As we, when his Lucas first came out, I was body. That's how bad it was. <laughs> uh, you have good fundamentals. I'm all right. Yeah, you know. Uh, but um, Crispy Tacos, being at the time he was a ranked player and all that stuff, his Lucas wasn't that sharp. He was losing to people he shouldn't have lost to. Eventually, he started to get better and better, and now we're seeing his Lucas really come together. Right, and now you know what? Now he's no. Here's another thing: is that he's no longer on the rankings. He probably doesn't feel any pressure to lose. Yeah. Or I mean, sorry, pressure to win. So there's no real pressure on him. He's coming in here like, hey, I can have fun. I've been practicing with this character. Yeah. It doesn't really matter if I lose, like to the PR or anything. So right. I'm just gonna go out there, play my best, and have fun. And when that pressure is off. That's when people play the best. Yeah. For, uh, most people play the best. Now, uh, Godot has made a switch over to DK. I actually think that this would be a really bad matchup for DK. Because, one, when Lucas recovers, Lucas can dip from really, really far right. away uh, to have a safe recovery or just uh, go from above the ledge so that the ledge snap is invincible. Um, I, think, I think that what he's going to be playing off of is that whole cargo throw game. Yeah, but it's so hard to deal with both projectiles for DK and to have to deal with uh, destroying oh, hitboxes. Nice Look at these amazing oh, grabs. Oh, he barely misses the sweet spot. Really wanted to see him go for another back air there. He was in a good spot to set yeah, it up Yeah, definitely. And Taco's going in right now. Yeah. He's like, yo, Nakata's not the only Lucas. I'm here too. This is one of the issues with, with DK. Uh, I think Zero stated it uh, recently, but he was like, projectiles. Oh, is that it? Like, oh, okay. You're going to have a really hard time when a character with projectiles is used against you because you can't get in to even start your combo or get your grab. Right. Now, I don't know if he messed up the cargo throw or if it's just, oh, that should have been an up throw. Should be oh, a but you know kill. that, yeah. hey, that kills. He knows the character better than me. Yeah. Is that um, Down throw up here, the Mother Boys, they're super floaty. Oh, he's going to go for Ooh. the. Okay, so there's about, um, there's like a 0 to 80% combo that off the down throw footstool. Yeah. Really, a little bit technical, but uh, Tacos is, has put, put in time and work oh. right now, um, and you can see it showing right now. Yeah, he's definitely. not having a very hard time in this matchup. Oh, that up there? No, no rage. And although Godot is actually like, he's losing pretty hard. He's oh. not a bad player. Like, we've seen him do some amazing work in the crew battles right, and in right. tournament. But uh, this is just a testament of how like how much Tacos is improving, how well he's doing. Yeah. It's like Zero makes some of the best players in the country look like complete scrubs. They're not scrubs, man. Zero's just that good. Yeah. Yeah, Taco's using jab on shield. I really like Lucas's jab as a tool to just keep off the pressure. Nice, nice use of down tilt, though. I, oh, he's going for that uh, side B. You know, I really like using the, the down B, the, the side magnet, as a good stall. Yeah. 
and he's still going to make it back. That recovery See, is so that's good. That's the thing I was talking about. It's oh. going to be very, very hard for Godot to get punishes off stage because Taco's nose, he can just dip from far away. And is this it? Goes for the oh, up air. barely misses. That's yeah. not necessary. Surprised Godot didn't go for a grab there. Okay, oh, one thing you should know about tethers, if you zare into the ground, there's two options. If you zare, there's two options. If you zare out of air, oh, nice oh, up beat. Perfect if, time. If you air dodge and then zare, you get you catch a lot of uh, landing lag. It's as if you just air dodge into the ground. If you zare normally, you don't catch anywhere near as much lag. So if you plan on zaring and landing in the ground, don't do it from air dodge. But oh, Godot is bringing this back. A little bit. Yeah, um, one cargo throw to up airs. He's definitely in kill percent range now. Uh, Tacos could end up getting a kill off of a grab here, but he is. Yeah. He's also put Godot into full rage. This is it, back throw? Or up oh, through the up throw. And right. that's going to be it right there. Lucas defining himself with his own throws. That 2 0. Oh, Crispy Taco showing off the potential of his character in NorCal. All right.